Hello YouTube, thought I'd do a quick video here. I did get my SDR. It's the exact one you see in this picture. So I'm gonna do a video here on how to install the driver. Um, a lot of people think it's plug and play. They plug it in and it detects the driver. And then they think, okay, that's it. I'm all done. And uh, that driver that Windows detects is not the right driver. And if you do that, it will not work. So I'm gonna show you how to replace that driver. Now, like I said, the model I have is this picture you see in front of you. There's a website you can go to to get this information. I'm gonna show you, I'll put the links, of course, down in the description below. But um, I'm gonna show you the steps. We're gonna walk through the steps. On this computer, I have not installed the driver. So you're gonna see firsthand how this works the computer i'm using is a windows 10 uh computer home version i believe it's got all the newest updates um it's a kind of an older computer so hopefully the software will run uh, and what i mean by that is hopefully the software i want to use to uh, monitor the frequencies will run okay on this slower computer um, so guess we'll find out and like I said you are the uh, you'll be seeing this as I do it for the first time on this computer so this is the model I got like I said so there's there's the website this is what you look for if you want to buy one mine's version 3 mine's identical it's black Watch out for clones. I guess there's clone models out there. So be wearful, be mindful of that. Um, but that's what that is. Now the first thing we got to do after you get your device is we got to go to airspy.com. I will post a link, like I said, in the description below. We need to download, let's get my fancy, my fancy little pen here. We need to download right here we need to download this right here which is going to be right here we got to click on okay so let's go ahead and click on that and we're going to download that this is this software that we're downloading has software you can use to monitor frequencies and also it also has a, 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 a bat file in there that you can run that will download the driver software that we need the software has two things in it so we're gonna hit download and it's downloading and I'm going to assume you know how to unzip files I'm not gonna get in detail on how to unzip files but uh, I'm going to assume that you know how to do that if you don't know how to do that just look up win zip on the internet and, it, and then you, there's videos out there you can watch and how to unzip files we need to unzip this so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this to my desktop and I'm gonna unzip it and then we're gonna look inside I'm gonna show you what's inside so I'm gonna close this window here and as you can see let's move this and as you can see I have it right here this is that folder or that zip file unzipped um, so we're gonna open that up and after you unzip it you can unzip it and put it anywhere you want you can put it anywhere you want uh, I just put it on my desktop so we're gonna scroll down and what you're gonna see is a file called let me get my fancy pen out here install install dash rtl sdr dot bat we're going to run that and you're going to see a window po pop open and it's going to download some files from the internet so you do need internet connection when you do run this okay so let's go ahead and erase that let's get my pointer let's double click this and we're going to move this over see it's downloading like i said it's downloading from github and press any key to continue and then voila that is it now if we did this right and you didn't have any errors downloading 
you should see a file called, let me get my little pen, Zag dig Z A right here. Z A D I G dot E X E. That's the driver software we're gonna be running. Okay. So what we're gonna do next, I'm gonna clear this off. And like I said, I'll post the links to these directions. Um, I'm gonna go to we're gonna. This is the where he downloaded it. AirSpy right here. And I showed you what what file to get. So now we're gonna go to the Quick Start Guide, okay? And this Quick Start Guide is again is tells you how to do it. So if you don't want to follow along, or if you want to read it instead, you can see it right here. We did. We're on step seven now already. You know, do not plug your dongle in. Um, but, uh, or do not install, plug your dongling, do not install any software. So, we're going to plug that in, but um, we, we, we did the, uh, we extracted the files right here. So now, we're going to plug this in, and you're going to see what happens here. I'm hoping it'll pop up on the screen. It, it may not. Let's plug this in. We're going to plug this in. Plug, we're plugging in the the um, the SDR dongle right now we're plugging that in and then you can't see this but I'll, I'll try to claw this up okay there we go okay hopefully you can see that this is the wrong driver we're plugging in let window do its thing because we're gonna replace the driver you don't want to do anything until this windows is done first so right in this, wait for it to set up. Um, okay, now it's ready, which obviously this is wrong. So we're going to close this because we do not care anymore. So we did plug that in. We did extract the folder, like I said. Now we got to right click that and run as administrator. So we got to go back to that folder. We're going to highlight it, right click it run as, as administrator like I said I'm running an older computer so it might be a little slow so now we got this window up okay now it wants us to go to options list all devices options list all devices make sure that the options checked if using Windows 10 or 11 in some cases, you may need to, you may need to uncheck, uh, ignore hubs. So we're there. Now we're going to go down to here. Okay. Select bulk in interface zero. Make sure it says interface zero and not one. Okay. So let's go back. So we got to change this. We got to change it to here. Okay. That's what we're doing. Note that some PCs may show something like RT2832 or instead of bulk interface, this is also a valid selection. Double check that the USB shows, USB ID shows that number. Okay. Well, mine does not. Mine shows zero one. So we're going to make sure I got it. Oh, interface zero. Jesus. Oh, this is see. This is what I mean. You got to really watch. I had it said one. Now mine's, mine does say the right number here in the ID. So make sure you make sure it says zero, like it says here, zero, not one. If you select one, see what happens when you do one? The ID, that's how I caught it. I had the wrong one. The ID is wrong. So we got to make sure we select zero. Okay. Okay, this is so make sure the USB ID right here 
shows, and let's get my fancy pan out here. Right here, right here, right here is what we're looking at. Make sure it shows this, and it does. So um, we're good there. So that looks good. It's okay. Let's go ahead. Let's go to the next thing. Do not select anything else. Do not click around randomly. Yeah, because you don't want to overwrite your keyboard or your mouse. So we don't want to do that. It, and number 10, we also need we need to install the USB driver to ensure that we select. Okay, so the left screen box may show none. Okay. Or two. Okay. So the none here is okay. It may show none here. Or it may show uh, RTL, you know, blah, 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 blah. That's okay. So it might show this number or it might show none. We want to make sure it says when. When. USB. So we want to double check all that. Ensure that it is, is selected. Okay. So we're going to make sure that's selected. That is there. Like I say, it may show none here. That's what it says, or it may show a number like this example does. Click replace driver, you may get a warning, um, okay, to install driver uh, anyways. Okay, so now we're gonna hit, let's move this so this doesn't look confusing here. So now we're gonna hit install driver. And like I said, I'm running a slow PC, so I, I got to be careful here. I don't get click happy because it's very easy to do when you're running a slow computer. You're like, okay, hurry up, hurry up. And you can see it's installing the driver. And hopefully we will get a successful message. So and it can take some time, as it says in this window right here. Actually, let's, let's make this not confusing. There, we're installing the driver. I clicked on install driver, just like that page said. It could take up to five minutes. So while we wait for that, I do have, and lucky I got this done before it got really cold here, I do have my homemade uh, GMRS antenna mounted on my pole. And it was installed successful. That's always a good thing to see. So we're going to hit close. We're going to close this out. Now, we're going to go back to the directions. We didn't get this window, which is fine. Now, we got to open up Sharp and select. So, now we're going to go. Remember, I said this software does two things. It, it, it lets you install a driver, and it also has the program that you can use to monitor frequency. So, we're going to run this, and let's see if this will run on this computer. That could be the next problem. This, this, I don't know if this needs a lot of processing power or not. Um, I guess we're going to find out here. And let's hope we're going to close out all this. Okay. So this is air, this is, this is, um, air spies, what we're, what I have up here. And now. We got to go back. Let's see if I can make this smaller so I can have my, oh, there we go. Perfect. So we're going to close. We're going to minimize that window. We're going to have this now. Now we're going to go back up and it says open up the SDR sharp, select source and select this right here. So let's go find the source right here. We're going to select here. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So now we're going to go to here. We're going to go to source right here. I accidentally closed the window. Now we're going to select here and we need to find right here. Right there. Let's make sure we did that right. Okay. So if you don't see your source window, you can get it from up here, right here. See that? So. Let's see if that's what that says. Select drop down RTL dash SDR USB. 
That's what we got. So we're good. So now if I did this right, let's go ahead and grab a radio. We're going to change the frequency up here. We're going to go with Six two five. Okay. Now to make this work, we got to hit the little play button here. Let's see if this will work on this old computer. Oh, it's looking good. We got a noise floor, they call it. I'm not going to get into detail on how to run this software. This video is about how to install the driver. So I'm going to show you that it is working. I'm going to key up a handheld. And hopefully, you can see, okay, oh, I see it. We're, we're over here. I got to, okay, let me figure this out. We need to get, there we are, right there. There's a spike right there. See that? Okay, so let's, okay, right there's a spike. So let's go ahead. Let's go put this back. I moved it, so... I just want to show you that it is working. Um, so I want to show you this. Let's put all this back to zero. Okay. Now, I'm going to slide this over. I know it's cutting off some of it, but that's all right. I just need to show you. Now, watching here, when I key up, you'll see a spike. Radio check. You can see that spike. You can see it right here on the sides, like an S uh, meter reading. But you can see the spike right there. There is my uh, frequency that I'm keying up on. You can see that. Audio, 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 audio. So there you have it. It looks like to be working. Now there's some more settings I got to play with, but you get the idea. You can see it on the, look right in here. I'm going to move my mouse when I key up. Look right in here. Radio, 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 radio. And actually we can zoom in. Let's zoom in in there. Let's, okay, here we go. Let's zoom in. Let's zoom in. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. So now we are working. Obviously, um, like I said, there's more settings I got to play with. But when you do the driver right, this is what you should get. This is the frequency I am tuned to right here. And you can see the, you can see all the peaks and, and the floor noise and, um, and, uh, and all that good stuff. All this can be adjusted. But for now, we got the driver working and everything is looking good. So there you have it. I hope this video is helpful and helps you get your SDR up and running. Um, this particular, this is called Air Spy. As you can see, there's different bands. There's AM band. There's, uh, you know, all kinds of upper side band, all kinds of stuff. There's a squelch level. That's a whole nother video, but there's a lot of free software like this that you can get to run your SDR dongle. You can monitor all kinds of frequencies. If you have a, you know, a, a antenna, external antenna outside up on a pole, you'll get better reception. I don't have the antenna hooked up just to let you know this. Um, you know what? Let's, let's see if I can hook it up. Oh boy, let's see if I can screw this little adapter thing on here without making a mess. Oh yeah, you can see right away when I hook my antenna up, I'm going to have all kinds of, <laughs> you can see down here in the water, I think they call it the waterfall. You see how I hooked up my antenna down here? How I'm getting all kinds of stuff? Watch, watch right here. I want to unhook the external antenna, the one that I made. I'm going to unhook it now. I just hope I don't, it's hard to do this. So let's unhook it. But at any rate, you kind of see here, I unhooked it and let's see if it makes a difference. Um, but I, I, don't know, I don't know if I had it hooked up real well or not. But at any rate, um, but yeah, if you hook up another antenna, you can, you know, get better reception. Obviously, external antenna is better. So uh, I highly re you know, recommend either you buy one, make one, whatever you're going to do, whatever frequency you want to listen to. Um, but at any rate, I hope this video is helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, post them down below. And please subscribe 
Thank you and have a good day.